What type of home ownership do you are doing? Renting or owning? Uh oh. Okay. Um, the type of structure is it single family detached? Um, multi unit townhome? Multi unit condo? Single unit. Okay, single. And then the approximate date that you moved in? 84. 1984. Okay. So have you always lived um, in Warner Robins? No. Okay. Uh, where did you live before? Uh, before I uh, lived Yazoo, Mississippi. Oh, what part of Mississippi? Yazoo. Y A Z O O. Y A Z. Where is that at? Oh, yeah, I was just about to ask. Because <laughs> I got family in Jackson, Mississippi. Well, that's about 30 miles uh, northeast of Jackson. Is that up there by Forest? No. No, going the other way? Uh, Canton. Canton. Oh, okay. Close to, it's about nine miles. From uh, Canton. From Canton. Yeah, I got an uncle that's sitting there. Oh, this is recorded, my bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nine miles. Okay. And then anywhere else you used to live before here, Warner Robins? Uh, Army. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Army retired. Uh, 21 years in Army. Oh, nice. And then you just uh, became a farmer. You're Because you're a local farmer here in Houston County. Yeah, right? uh, I work with Robert Taylor. Oh, you work with Mr. Taylor. He came yeah. in this morning. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I just left him. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. And so, how did y'all end up in Warner Robins? And if you you're from the Mississippi area, uh, Robins Air Force Base told me if I come to Georgia, <laughs> they'd give me a good job. So I came to Georgia. Okay. Oh, after, or during the army or after you uh, retired? When I retired. So what did you do at Robins Air Force Base? Uh, I worked in gyro shop, electronics. Electronics. Okay. And what did you do with the electronics? Like, is it computers or? No, uh, I was a, a gyro mechanic. Oh, a gyro mechanic. Oh, nice. Okay. That's awesome. So, could you tell me a little bit about your home structure that you currently live in? Uh, it's 18, 18 uh, square feet. Okay. Eight, eight, no, and. Three bedroom is on a slab. Uh huh. Uh, bath and a half. Okay. And it's sitting on one quarter acre. Oh, okay. Do you have any like um anything you're farming out there on your land on no. that quarter of an acre? No. no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And so, do you have uh, a rooftop? Solar on your home? Solar? Yeah, rooftop no. solar? No. Okay. Um, can you tell me a little bit why, maybe why the reason that you don't have the rooftop solar? Was this like a decision made for you or is just something that you decided? Uh, the reason I don't have, because I don't know a whole lot about solar. That's number one. Okay. Uh, number two, from what I understand is uh, a bit expensive, mm -hmm. uh, but the house uh, when I bought it, you know, uh, solar wasn't really wasn't in existence thirty years ago. Right. So this brings to me to my next question: If you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? I would consider it. Okay. So why would you consider it now, you think? Because, uh, well, first, the environment, uh, and I understand that it's cheaper than regular uh, electricity after you have gotten it mm -hmm. in the long run. Okay. And what would you need, you think, um, to feel like, do you need education behind it to get more information about solar? Yeah. I would need more education on it. Okay. So I thank you for all those great answers. And so I'd like to talk a little bit about rooftop solar adaption just in general. Here's a map of the U.S. And there's a pen right there. And I would like for you to mark, check, scribble on where you think 
that there's solar panels located as far as what in the homes, what states? Uh, in homes? Mm -hmm. And like in the states, like where do you think solar panels at? By marking on any of the states on the U.S. Uh, I have no idea. That you can we can take a guess. There's no right or wrong answers now. You can just you just think about maybe where you think solar panels would be seen at based on the states. Hmm. Hmm. And there's a pin right there. You can just circle or check on where you think they would have solar panels. I would think that solar panels would be in some homes in mm -hmm. every state. Okay. Okay. So you could just circle around the states where you think it's located. <laughs> <laughs> the whole US. Wait, you missed two you missed two down there. Yeah. I mean it might not be a lot, but mm -hmm. there's I, I would think that there would be some in, uh -huh. in, in every state. Okay. And so why do you think everybody in the US has a little bit of that solar then? That solar rooftop on their why do what? Oh, why do you think people have those on those the area that you circle? They have solar rooftop. Why would they have? Mm -hmm. In those areas you circle. Well, uh, in the long run, it's cheaper than uh, uh, electricity. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, regular electricity. Uh, right. And. Here again, some people would probably do it because of the. It's also better for uh, the environment. Okay. Global warming. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to talk about just a little bit of the residents that stay in the in the state of Georgia. So can you circle where you think solar panels are located in the state of Georgia? I know what some at. Yep. Okay. Go ahead and circle it. <laughs> Well, or you can mark it however you like. See to this Macon. Yes, sir. That's Macon. Mm -hmm. See this would be Houston County. Yes, sir. Well, uh, is that in Houston County? Reynolds in Houston County. Mm -mm. Reynolds. Let's see. I think this is Taylor over here. Taylor. Taylor County. County. Taylor County. Yes, uh, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, no, so I'm there on uh, 96, yes, Highway sir. 96. Yes, sir. Uh, I go that way when I'm going home. So okay. I, there's, a, there's a whole lot of them there. Okay. And I know some in Atlanta. Oh, okay. And I would think they are in all major cities. Uh, uh, some, not, I know there's some in Houston County, too, on Robbins Air Force Base. Oh, there is some there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is it? Miss Augusta. Okay. Okay. And Robbins Air Force Base. Do you know where they're at on Robbins? Big pardon? Do you know where they're at on Robbins Air Force Base? Mm -hmm. Is it like when it when you first go into the visitor center gate that way, or is uh, it at the other gate on Russell Parkway? Uh, they used to be between the uh, where the trucks enter. Yes, sir. And, Off of Davis. The, uh, the uh, Davis gate, the one that takes you connects you to Green Street. Right. Okay. That's the one that connects you to Green Street uh -huh. and, and uh, uh, the Russell Parkway entrance. Uh -huh. uh, but now they are, uh, there's also a song down on the uh, flight line. Well, they, they want, uh, you have to have special permission to go down right. there. Uh, you gotta, but they got some down there too. Oh, okay. Oh, that's awesome. So do, um, do you know any of your close friends that have um, in Georgia that have solar on their roof? No. No. So why do you think they don't have it? Well, uh, probably education. I would say education is mm -hmm. the reason most people don't have it. Now, uh, for people that are uh, building new homes, I don't know why they don't have it. That would, if I was going to build a new house, that would be the uh, top of my uh, consideration. But here again, they are are expensive. Yeah. Oh, they also got a bunch of solar down at uh, Full Valley State. Oh, on the campus? On the campus, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. They got a, a research center there at Full Valley. At the, 
solar research. Yeah, they do. They got a trailer that they have mobile solar panels. They also on. got uh, some greenhouses down there that they uh, run solar panels solar, off. Uh, and they use solar to uh, to uh, keep the uh, temperature inside those greenhouses stabilized. I didn't know that. I've been out there looking at it. That's the reason I know that solar is expensive. Because <laughs> we wanted to uh, do solar in uh, our greenhouses, but uh -huh. we hadn't got around to that yet. Mm. What would help you get around to that? Say again? <clears throat> what would you need to help you kind of... Put it, it costs too much. So the cost, the, the expense to the get expense them put in, it. yeah. To regulate, you use them to regulate the temperature in there, uh, for the for the expense. But like you said, if we had you had some education on it and understanding yeah. what it was, that could help. Uh, and uh, and you know, even if you get a loan, then you really got you know to decide. How long is it going to take you to pay that off, or, or are you making enough money off of it to pay on it? You know. Okay. Well, anything else you'd like to add to, our, to the anything we've said or talked about? No. Okay. <laughs>